the bottom or the board? The bottom. Unfortunately, you know, my first CT pipe in the morning training, I went for a back door wave and I hit the bottom really hard. So when I came in, I went to the medical doctors that WSL provides and they stitched me up. And so yeah, I've got uh, five stitches in there. It was also just, just hitting so hard, like it was so bruised and uh, just like a contusion. So, but it's healing. <laughs> I wasn't even sure I'd be able to surf at first. They, they monitored my movements and kind of gave me the green light, but I was, I was in pain. Um, it was hard to paddle. And at pipe, you have to paddle so hard to get the waves. And I was kind of having a hard time. Anyways, yeah, that first heat also was very slow. There weren't many waves. Kalohe made the heat with like a three, like almost four points or something. So just didn't work out. And my second heat, I had, you know, seven points and a four or something. Like pretty decent for, pretty good for, you know, Round two, most of the time, the, or that heat total was making the other heats. It's just I had a really, really tough heat. You know, Miguel Tadella and, and Jordy both had huge scores. Um, and you know, it would have been nice to get one big score and one big wave, but it just it didn't happen that way. And um, but you know, I learned a lot. And sunsets coming up, and now the focus is just let my let my arm heal and you know just start focusing on sunset because i know i can do really well at sunset so i just gotta put that behind me and um you know four events to to still perform at so i'm not too worried <laughs>Noticed we have this incredible house. This is a content creation house. This is where Jamie O'Brien grew up, and it's just a very important house in the history of surfing. We're also doing four episodes on the history of surfing, so we're doing it all from here. Aloha to Brazil. Uh, my name is Mick O'Brien, and I lived in this house for 22 years. Best place ever. Uh, I raised my son Jamie O'Brien here. That's uh, why he's so good at pipeline. I was a lifeguard and I uh, raised my two kids by myself and when my mom was 80 she moved in here too so I had everybody work just down the road so it worked out really good. I was located right in front of Pipeline, uh, the tree next door is the line up, the pine tree right there and uh, you, can't, you couldn't get a better place to live. It's not a shore break, right. Sergio. How you doing, Sergio? Uh, nice Brazil, to meet you. Matty Liu, former child actor. I know Matty. Sean Davey, 39-year-old photographer. I know, I saw him back in the, in the beginning. Because of waves, I saw Baron get shacked. Gnarly good or gnarly bad or Double my tie cards. Yeah. <laughs> How crazy is that? I was on park I, and I got, uh, well, so I, think it's it's I brought a three, a 200 with a... One point four. I don't do this stuff. I'm usually in the water, so I'm trying to figure stuff out. But I'm gonna try to get a shot right from here. Whose seat is this? This is yours. Take it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in right here, bro. Oh, front row. I want front row. Why are they called Turbo? Turbo. Turbo. You know your brother. Well, how big is out there are you at? I think it looks about solid eight foot, which is probably the most dangerous, I think, for pipe because it's on the first reef. Thick, maybe 10 foot sets. I I wouldn't want to surf it. I'll stick to the sand bottom, man. This is dangerous stuff, but uh, man, I saw some guys, I saw Baron just get shacked. I said, I'm coming down here. I can't, I can't wait. Oh my God. Hey, it's gnarly Dude. out there, Oh! <laughs>
and, uh, and then we'll just have to see from there. Good hopefully, luck. hopefully we don't break one, but if we do, I'll, I'll have to make the call on that, depending on what I'm seeing, uh, either smaller or bigger, uh, either two inches smaller or two inches bigger, so it'd be a 6.4 or a 6.8, but uh, uh, I would probably pick the 6.8 on... So you get back out in the water faster and get down the wave faster if I was, you know, if you break one in the middle of the heat because at that point, bigger is better. it's really awesome to push the sport and the future generation. It's just about having experience of pipeline and the girls don't have much yet. I think the younger generation will because they're starting to surf it really young at 12 years old and for all of us we haven't really surfed it until recently and um, so it's all about just getting comfortable with the wave and so I don't think there's much difference it's just about putting time in so the younger the girls start the, the better I think we'll get and um, yeah, hopefully that starts to happen. The waves are looking like so good right now. For me, I think it's firing. I'm having so much fun. I've been surfing pipes since I was like, well, the first time I came out, I think I was 12. But I never clicked out here until I was 18. So like a lot of years it took to actually click. And from there, I just, every winter, I feel like I'm getting more and more better. And just, like, that's the goal, is to just keep getting better every single year. Yeah, that wave is definitely, I think, the widest barrel I've ever got at Pipe. I felt so deep, I was like, oh, I think this is a close out. And I just was like already committed, so I dropped in. And I was like, I hope I make it. And I was like, oh, I made it. <laughs> it was a surprise. <laughs> Who's Moana? Yeah. And she grew up on the North Shore of Oahu, and she's grown up surfing Pipeline. That's why she's so good there. You know what, the way I see it right now is you got a really great pipeline surfer, probably the best woman pipeline surfer ever, and you got the best competitor ever. So that's what it's gonna come down to. You know, that's that's what they each got going for them. So we'll see how it all goes. Kinda interesting, don't know what's gonna happen. of her commitment to surfing pipeline she gets a wild card in because she won the hic pipe pro a couple weeks ago and now she's going to be number one in the world in about 10 minutes so she's going to get a yellow jersey and they better put her name on it she'll be in sunset they'll invite her to portugal she's going to have 10,000 points from this win so she's probably already made the cutoff so she's guaranteed like on tour and everything here we go okay here we go Moana jones let's hear it 